meet Stacy and Becky. They are what you call bad girls. Once a week, they wait on this quiet road to prey on vulnerable men for their own financial satisfaction. The plan is simple. They will pretend to be hitchhiking. Once they've spotted an expensive car with a male driver alone, that's the target. Jackpot! <laughs> no, there's two guys in the front. The rule is only one, remember? Don't worry. We can handle it. This is our last time, okay? So we've got to make it big. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping. I'm Stacy. This is Becky. I'm John. Where are you girls heading? Well, we were just wondering if it's not too much to ask for. Would you mind dropping us in town? Yeah, we're not going that far. Sorry, ladies. Really? Come on, please. It's okay. We'll just wait for someone else. Thanks a lot. One condition. No smoking or drinking in the car. Oh. Fine. Hop in. Thanks, Becky. Say thanks to the generous men. Thanks. Inside the car, the girls engage in the usual small talk to make the driver feel more comfortable. The driver will always ask, how did they end up hitchhiking? To which Stacy replies, uh, long story. Girls drama and shit, you know. wrong your friend. You mean David? You look really, really pretty. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Becky suddenly notices a strange smell. At first, she thought it was David or John, so she backed off a little, but the smell lingered. Then she checked herself, but didn't smell anything either. Finally, she suspects it could be Stacy. Why have we stopped? Oh shit, something's up with the car. Let me go check it out. Stacy sees an opportunity and decides to take action. I'm going for a smoke. You know, I love a man who knows his way around a car. Uh, okay. Are you with anyone, John? I'm happily married. You shouldn't stare at people. Are you a dangerous person? What did you just say? I, I, I think you're dangerous. Why would you say something like that? <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to be naughty? I'm not sure what you mean. You know. <laughs> Stop laughing. A <laughs> stranger danger. <laughs> My penis feels funny. Stacy! What happened? He's freaking me out. He's saying something about his penis. Oh, he just needs to go to the toilet. David, come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Go in the woods over there. We'll oh, wait for okay, you. Okay, yeah.
Whoa. What's this? Give me your wallet. I don't have a wallet. <sighs> Stop lying. Becky, check his pockets. Nothing. He's got nothing. You must be fucking kidding me. Check inside the car, okay? They must have something. Ladies, you're wasting your time. I'm not the rich guy here. In fact, this isn't even my car. Well, whose car is it then? Just keep looking, Becky! I mean, who carries cash these days anyway? Oh, stop talking. How old are you? 20? 21? Your parents must be really proud. Shut up! You know, you really should have thought about this before you did. <laughs> what the fuck, Stacy? I told him to stop talking. D did you find anything? No, let's go. Stace, what are you doing? I'm thinking. What's in the boot? There's nothing in the boot. Just open the fucking boot. Trust me, there's nothing you want inside. Do you want me to stab you in the other leg? Suit yourself. It is at this moment Stacy realizes that she has made a big mistake, and Becky now knows where that awful smell came from. I did warn you. Stacy, look out!
Becky frantically searches for the car keys to make a quick getaway before the men return. She... Do you really need to say that? The audience can clearly see what the fuck I'm doing. A little help, please. John retrieves the knife and crawls towards the passenger side. You are a dangerous person, but you're still really, really pretty. Flurry gets you everywhere. Get in the car. <laughs> 